have had for many, many years. And Stowers, Niali, Kendra Harrison, Brandon Rollins, Christy Castlin, all will fancy their chances of taking victory here. Tiffany Porter goes for Great Britain as well, but she had to give second best to Jessica Ennis Hill in the heat. Anna Zagre goes on the inside, the Belgian champion. There really were some quick times in the heats. Tiffany Porter, though, is just a couple of tenths of a second down from her, her best. She's been competent this year without really setting the heather on fire. Alina Talley, silver at the Europeans, behind Cindy Rolliger, the German Rolliger, very disappointing in the heats, but Talley is here to compete in the final. Jasmine Sowers, we talk about the US trials, and she fell at the last hurdle in the, in the trials, but in contention for second or third place. Uh, Nia Ali won her heat earlier this evening after Rihanna Rollins hit the penultimate hurdle pretty hard. And there is Kenny Harrison, how easy she made 12.40 look. Not a stadium record, 12.35, Sally Pearson ran when winning the Olympic title. Pearson, who will not be in Rio after tearing her hamstring. There is Brianna Rollins, world champion three years ago, won the US title this year. And again, looking to make amends for that hurdle hitting effort in the heats. And they see her on the big screen and they start to cheer. If she can run close to her time from the heat, she'll be very, very pleased. Anything in the 1270s. Christy Castlin goes in lane nine. Second at the US Championships behind Brianna Rollins. So again, a hugely powerful American lineup within this final. And, uh, you know that Kendra Harrison, Kenny Harrison in lane six, feels she has a point to prove. Made 12.40, looks so, so comfortable in the heats. She goes there, left of your picture in lane six. You've got Anna Zagre in one, Tiffany Porter in two, Alina Talley of Belarus in three, Jasmine Stowers, Nia Ali, Kenny Harrison, Brianna Rollins, all of America in four, five, six, seven, Ennis Hill in eight, and Christy Castlin in lane nine. was given a 12.57, which was Brianna Rollins. What a performance. Right at the beginning, I did introduce, when we were down in the call room, the quality of the field. Knowing that this young lady has the ability, we saw her cruise through the first round. 12.40, looking very easy and steady, and she just went to make the final, and what a race. And we're all deprived of her in Rio. Hurdles are one of the things that they sh it shouldn't be like this in the, in the hurdles, because things can happen in a one-off race. I know that's the nature of the US trials. She has some compensation tonight, but it is a real shame that she will not be in Rio, but she is the world record holder, and that record set by Jordanka Donkova goes back to 1988. 
this crowd has been treated with a phenomenal performance, haven't they? What a really, really landmark performance from her. 12.20, and as you said, taking that world record of Yudanka Donkova. Phenomenal performance by this young lady. Well, we all watched that, and we all thought that time was surely quicker than 12.57, but as uh, Colin has explained, she went under, and Brianna Rollins came through in second place in 12.57. Almost four tenths of a second behind Kenny Harrison, but that is uh, athletics history made tonight in London by Kenny Harrison. Yeah, she's full of emotion. Look at that. She cannot believe what's happened in here in London town. Let's watch it. Explodes out the block. She gets a clean very first hurdle. Looks like she falls off the barrier, but she just rolls off it, didn't she? And she runs off that trail leg so aggressively. This is a world-class field. She's absolutely destroying. Look at the margin of victory. Worked hard all the way through. You can see with that dip, which we didn't see in the first round, how she managed to go under, under the photo finish. Look at this head on. All action going on around her, but she kept her head. World record performance. It's always great to witness history, and we saw it here in London. Well, saw her run 12.24 in Eugene earlier this year and got close to that old record, and 12.20 tonight. We knew this track was quick, we knew she was quick, but as Colin was saying there, that is a world-class field. She is has that gap, that lead over, an astonishing run by Kenny Harrison. Unfortunately, Jessica Canaris didn't quite live up to what we were hoping that she could do, but she was in a field. Well, she will remember this. She may have won the Olympic Games here, but also now she saw the world record run, and she was in that race. Oh. Well, she didn't think she had it. We didn't think they all saw it, and they said to her, there you are, world record holder. But a very special moment, and a, a very, very old record is gone from the books. 28 years it has lasted. But now Jordanka Donkova's mark has gone. Kendra Harrison is the world record holder, and she's talking to Rob. Kenny, you have...